to be going shopping. I do love my shopping videos. So as a part of my 2023 glow up, I'm probably going to buy a few little things. We are going shopping for my sister's 19th birthday. That's the whole aim of this trip. But I thought I'd include it in this video just for a little bit of fun. So I'm just waiting for my mum to get dressed and then we'll head off. It is so sunny guys. The lighting is not great, but we are on our way to the Dubai Hills Mall, which is a new mall. Ready to do some shopping. It's kind of like a mother-daughter day out. <laughs> We got some Carla in the caveats. We finished shopping for today, but we're actually going to go out again tomorrow. But we got some Carla in the caveats on the way home. We're home. Guys, I'm really happy because I managed to get a new eyebrow brush, which I really needed because I lost my other one. I haven't been able to do my eyebrows in ages. So that's what I got. So I'm now going to get into... Hi! So I'm going to get into some cooler clothes because I'm probably going to sit outside and read for a little bit today. Well, I am, not probably. I am going to. So that's what I'm gonna do now. He's literally climbing my trousers. So I ended up reading outside for like two and a half hours and I almost ended up finishing the book. I don't know how. I got pretty invested in it. One of my goals for 2023 is to read more because i love reading but i never like read enough so that's gonna be one of my goals but i'm going to tell you guys more about my goals in this video anyways as part of my mini glow up for 2023 i am going to do a workout i'm also going to be wearing a new sports bra new workout outfits for 2023 are essential and i'm also going to be wearing my new apple watch which has honestly made me so much more motivated to work out because i want to use my watch so it's been great this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing my new gymshark sports bra and then my night pros a thousand words ain't enough to define the body of body for my workout today i'm going to be doing a quiet like hardcore hardcore one obviously over the christmas holidays I typically don't work out as much and I kind of feel like I get weaker so going into 2023 I want to go in super strong and super ready to train so I'm going to try and bulk up today and get some of that strength back so I can go into 2023 ready and fit as I was when I left if that makes sense. getting rid of these disgusting nails and putting on some new ones <laughs> this is what they currently look like they're just coming off all over i feel like this is necessary as a part of my 2023 glow up to go in looking fresh <laughs> so i'm really really lucky that a company called madam glam has actually sent me some of their gel nails to use in this video it comes in the cutest box <laughs> But they've sent me three different colours and a base coat, a top coat, and then one of the little UV lamps. I haven't decided which colour I want to use yet. I've got like two lighter ones. So I've got this one, 
which is called Elegance. I've got this really pretty green colour, which is called Foggy Night. And then I've got a lighter colour, which is called Spring in Paris. I think it's going to be this one or Elegance, one of these two. Ignore the mess behind me, but I've just opened up the little UV lamp. So it comes with a USB and then a lamp. I'm so excited, I've never done gel nails before. So I've decided on the colour that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Spring in Paris, which is this light pink sort of colour. I've got my setup here, so I'm going to be starting off with the base coat. <laughs> My parcel from Amazon has arrived. I'm so excited about this. So, if you guys have seen this on TikTok recently, there have been people using these binders to do something called money stuffing, cash stuffing, something like that. And I really wanted to try it out this year. It's one of my New Year's goals, just to try and cash stuff because I have a pretty bad habit of using Apple Pay and then kind of not keeping track of how much I've spent. So I thought by using cash, it will make me a bit more aware of how much I'm spending because I'm physically like using the money, if that makes sense, I don't really know. But it also comes with loads of these little folders and then you get to put stickers on them. So I'm gonna have to think about what categories I want, what I spend my money on. It is time for me to make my 2023 Pinterest board because it is New Year's Eve. I'm kind of on a tight time crunch right now to make it. I am someone who looks on Pinterest quite a lot. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look through my Pinterest feed and get some inspiration. I want it to be very aesthetically pleasing. I've just been sat here going through Pinterest and I've been looking for stuff that kind of relates to like my 2023 goals to make the board more motivating and inspiring. So I've included things like working out, school, traveling. I've also done Coldplay because we're going to see Coldplay next year so I'm really excited. So yeah. It is time to do a face mask. I am back in England now as well if you can tell by the different bathroom. So I'm headed back to school tomorrow and I want to do a few little things to feel ready and that includes a face mask because I haven't done one in a few weeks. As always, I'm going to be using the Himalayan charcoal face mask from Body Shop. I use this in all my videos and I love it. I need to shove my hair up and then I'll put it on. My goals for 2023. Something that I do every year which I think is so important is setting goals to tick off throughout the year. I feel like it really helps me keep a centered mind of where exactly I'm wanting to go. So this year I have separated my goals into different categories. <laughs> this is something I'd really recommend you guys doing so that you have like a variety of everything. Now you want a different variety of things. You want some things that are quite easy for you to achieve and then some things that are much harder because you want to be able to tick things off and kind of feel like you've done something. So I always do that. Here are my 2023 goals. <laughs> I've got school, gym, life, social media and acting. So for school, I want to perform a piano performance and perform a singing performance. Now these are ones that I can easily achieve because I'm doing that this month. Next is complete my silver DV, which I'll be doing in May. And that's another thing that's sort of like, I would definitely do it. So it's something to tick off. And then the last one is apply to be a prefect for upper sixth. And then obviously like my typical school girls are work hard, get my work done on time, revise, all of those typical things, but I do that anyway, so I didn't want to put them down. And then for gym, I have a different gym list for like what skills I want to do, so these are my overall goals. So first of all, I want to win an individual medal. I want to apply for a level one coaching course, which I'm so excited about. I really, really, really want to do it. And then I want to compete at a certain competition, but I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> so then I've got some life goals. So these are just sort of like general fun goals. The first one is go to London. 
The second one is travel somewhere new and I'm pretty sure I'm going to Canada this summer so that will be that ticked off. The next one is start using my money binder. Another one is go to Dubai. Um, reach £1,000 in my savings account. This is one that I really, really, really want to achieve. Drink at least one bottle of water a day. Read one book a month. Get my provisional driving license and take my theory test, which is crazy. I'm literally going to be driving this year. I don't know how. For social media, I have become an influencer for a company. This one is quite hard to achieve. Don't know if I'll get there, but I put it on my list anyways. Have a sponsored Instagram post. Reach 10k on YouTube. Click that subscribe button if you guys haven't already and yeah that's all for social media and now I have some for acting because I want to go into acting one day so I want to have some headshots taken I want to take a singing exam and I want to take part in an audition process so those are all my goals for 2023 obviously I'm keeping things in mind like staying positive making sure that I'm going to gym like all of the time just things like that but those are the ones that I specifically want to achieve so when you guys are setting your goals make sure that you set things that are achievable and there's some things that are kind of further out of reach you really want that mixture and you also want to congratulate yourself when you've achieved something so those are my 2023 goals let's bring on the new year <laughs> 